Can you pick that up? Okay, so these are Home Depot specials. You know, now that I think about it though, if we cut those down to the same size as these, now those are so green so they'll shrink. So you almost can't mix the two. So if we cut those to these same size as these, they may shrink down another quarter inch. Let's just say we need 30. So 38 footers, that means 15 of these. And if we just go ahead and put these up here and then we cut cut it to the cut them so they're all the same height, then we can take them over there and cut them in half and use them as eight footers and that would probably be the best way to go. This one only counts as a half. So these two together will count as one. So there's two. Three. So our two by sixes, 10, well there's more than 10 actually, 16 footers, but a couple of those are not full length, so I think we'll do about five more, and then we should be, um, should have enough to take over to the sawmill shed. Okay, so there's our last load of two by sixes cut down to five and a half inches. So those are true two by, or nominal two by sixes, inch and a half by five and a half. And that makes short work of it, running that sawmill over them, making sure they're all the same height. Okay, so we've got these marked off. So our post will go there, and then we'll have a 2x6 on the outside of it. And that will be the extent of the 24 feet there. And so then we've got it marked off. Where everything's going to go. We used a storyboard here. So that we've got everything exactly the same on both sides. So now we have to cut some 2x6s at 7.5 feet wide. Long, 7.5 feet long. We have to cut some two by sixes at seven and a half feet wide. No, seven and a half feet long. And they'll go from side to side with a rim joist on the outside of each one. So that'll make it seven foot nine. The rim joist will be outside of the beam. And from end to end, it'll be exactly 24 feet long from joist to joist, outside of joist to outside of joist, 24 feet. So our plywood will lay out right. And I guess that's it. It's a beautiful sunny day here in the farm and we're enjoying this weather. It's gonna be close to 90 today and I'm hoping that um, the rest of the week is a little bit cooler, but this isn't, this isn't bad.
close enough for the... Yeah. Sixteenth of an inch too short, but I think that's okay. Check out that green. Really nice, huh? This one I'm gonna be using as a, um, a double or a triple. So I don't really care about the weighing on there because it's just gonna be a reinforcing piece. So it doesn't need to be a full strength one. Three, at least three of them that are the nicest ones that you got and set them aside and don't cut those in half. So any of them that have a lot of weighing in them, just put another one beside them, like that one there, when, if, when you get to that point.
what's going to happen down here is that there's going to be a, um, a post right here so that's the equivalent of a post and then we'll have another joist right on the other side of that post like this here so there'll be a, a joist on either side of the post so grab another uh, decent one and put in this spot here Okay, and then right here in the middle, so this one right here, we'll just, we'll just assume this is a post, a post will be centered right there. And so we'll have, have one there. That'll help stiffen up the post. And then down at this end, we have the same. Something like that. And then I can move this one over. Okay, so underneath the uh, existing sawmill track over there, we have four six by sixes under those, those over there. Every every place where we're gonna put a, a six by six down to support the six by eight track rails over there, we will put a double joists under those two. So there we go. We've got enough for doubling up underneath the uh, ties and for the ends. So tomorrow I guess we'll figure out where the posts are going to go and then start putting this thing together. Hopefully that thing won't blow away tonight. Don't forget about our 500 subscriber giveaway that's coming up. Once we hit 500 subscribers, we'll be giving away some special gifts, including a Woodland Mills hat, a special t-shirt, and a couple other items, some cold weather gloves, and a couple other items. So comment below, subscribe, and get ready for the 500 subscriber giveaway coming up.